You know, roughly 20 miles from Durango, you find Haviland Lake. It's not the most popular lake in the state of Colorado, but it is one of the prettiest. Now this lake is, some would classify as a large pond here in the San Juan National Forest. It is managed by the Colorado Parks and Wildlife, which is a good thing because they stock toads and loads of trout here. Now, we came up here for about an hour and a half, two hours on an evening, and we were admiring the beautiful views of the Hermosa Cliffs in the distance while we were catching trout. Probably gonna be a little stuck. And might not, not be a bad too bad, fish. you might be all right. He just barely was picking it up. He was just kind of just grabbing it a little bit, came back a couple of times and finally actually took it down. First one of the day, nice little rainbow, head over here. Some nice colors to him. Look at those colors. Nice, nice little bow. All right, so for those of you that have never been to Durango, right now we're at a lake maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes outside of town, right alongside the highway, beautiful campground, perfect destination to whether you're a day user or you're a camper to come camp and fish. I mean, you could not ask for better scenery than we have right here. All the way up in the Rockies, unfortunately these are, these kind of weeds are in the way, but you can see the backdrop is just incredible. And you know, the state of Colorado does a lot of stocking here. If you got a family or you're by yourself or you're just driving through, it's a perfect place to come for the evening, like we are, and attempt to catch some trout. Hey, shit, we're getting a little bite over here. Bite. Look at the rod tip. Let's see, let's see, let's see, come on, come on. There it is, got him, got him, got him. That's <laughs> really cool. Ooh. Yeah, he's out there a little bit. All of a sudden, a little bit of wind. You guys, weren't, you guys weren't watching earlier, but Joe, wow. he went in the water right here. Yeah, I went down in that. So he's trying uh, not to do that a, twice. It's a little bit tough. Ooh, nice, nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Look at that. They actually Man, stopped some, some nice, nice fish in here. in here. Look at this thing. That's awesome. Look at the colors on these things. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> There we go. Now the one, third fish of the day. Not bad. Peach nice. garlic again. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish. You're gonna have to go like this for you. <laughs> Peach garlic on the bottom again. Here we go. Took a few minutes to get another one, but got him. Get a few bites and kind of stop biting, and then they kind of circle back around. But this one's not too bad. You almost pulled the rod off the actual stand I had set up on. Get the net out here. Let me slide over to that side. Come on. A lot of clay over here, so it's slipping all over the place. And you know what? Look at the colors on these things, man. Look at that rainbow. Nice. So what we're doing today, we primarily fish a lot of rivers and streams, and so we're actually doing some lake fishing today. All I had with me today was a simple bobber. All right, so this is an easy way to set up. This is all I had in my box. If you wanted to use a little red and white bobber, you can actually do that. It's just a set bobber is what this was. So you can actually use it as a uh, slip bobber like this, or you can actually use it just a fixed bobber the way I have it set up right here. So main line just goes right through. And here I've got some split shot just to be able to get the actual egg all the way down. And let me show you the actual split shot. So that's all I've done, three in a row, just to make sure I get the bobber standing straight up. That's all I wanted to do, and to get the actual bait down. And right there, I've got uh, about an 18 inch leader to a size 12 fire hook. So this is our new fire hooks, and we're using this today. And all I'm doing on this setup is actually using a fireball. What I'm using today is pink shrimp fireballs. So really simple to do. So you can see the actual shrimp in there, the pink shrimp fireball. And all I'm doing is putting one of these on the hook. So just feed it right on. Here we go, and that's all I'm doing. Just one hook like that, one egg, and just get cast them out there under a bobber and waiting for the bobber to just drop down. Pink shrimp fireball under a float. Just cast it out in that direction, just nailed it. And this guy took out jumping right away. Speed in here, buddy. <laughs> Not a very good net job there, that's for sure. He's on. He's mixing the weeds though. He's ridden. A lot of weeds out there. Yeah, a lot of weeds. I think he swam to the bottom with him. Is he bringing all of them with him? Nope. Yep, there he is. Man, I didn't even know I had him on. All I felt was the weeds because he took it straight down to the bottom there. 
I mean, that was in there for maybe 20 seconds, I think, and it got hit. Whoa. Whoop, 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 whoop. Got him. Oh, look at that. Nice colors on this fish, too. They are beautiful. All right, cover the bobber setup with you earlier. Now I'm gonna cover the actual bottom setup for fire bait. So what I'm using here is a quarter ounce sinker, slip sinker on my main line. So that's on my main line. So it reduces the drag when the fish can't feel it. Onto a barrel swivel. On that barrel swivel, I've got six pound fluorocarbon. So fluorocarbon, I've got about an 18 to 24 inch leader just because of the weeds on the bottom. And I got it to a size 12 fire hook. And that's all I'm using. I'm not using a treble hook. I'm just using a fire hook with peach garlic fire bait. This has been the go-to today. They've been actually hitting this on just about every cast. So all I do, just put a little bit on there on the hook, just enough to cover the hook up. And I usually place, make it a little teardrop or something like that. So that's pretty much the setup right there. There we go. Fish on. Look at that. Peach garlic again on the bottom. Come on. Oh, nice one jumping in the background there too. Maybe a little better than the last two. A little finer. Yeah. These things have such beautiful color too. Man, I'm not used to seeing rainbows like this. She's gonna fall down in this play again. All right. Good looking go. rainbow. I mean, that's, that's a good looking fish. Look at that. There it is, fish on. Peach garlic on the bottom again, look at that. <laughs> almost took the rod in, I just barely set it down. A little fish like this, it almost jacked me on that one. Ah. All right. <laughs> this clay's a little slick. That was a little better net job too, look at that. Nice fish. Now this is a perfect lake for families and day users that are just gonna come out here and get on your float tube or get on a kayak or get on a canoe or like a little car top boat or anybody that just wants to stand on the bank because they stock this lake so frequently that the bite tends to be good. Now we just posted up right near the dam and we threw out two things. We threw out the new peach garlic fire bait. Hey, and in times like this where things are going up, guys, we're challenging you, try something new. You're gonna find this for around $3 where the competitor bait is anywhere between five and seven for almost exactly the same thing. That's why we use fire bait. It works, we showed you right here. We were done instantly, okay? We caught over a dozen fish really quickly. And the other bait we used was under that float, a single pink shrimp fireball. You guys have seen these before. They look, they taste, they smell just like salmon eggs, but they're not real, which means they're not as much messy. They're slippery. I know what you guys are gonna say. They fall out of your hands. Hey, well, that's what makes them soft but satisfying. If you get a chance to be in the Durango area and you wanna catch some trout on a lake, whether you wanna camp on the shoreline like you can here or just drive up and enjoy the beautiful scenery, this is one opportunity many anglers don't wanna overlook. Hotski products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.